Kuch Batar. Oh, y'all are melting so much. Okay, well, bright and early in the morning. Been a few days since I've done much. Well, no, I think I did some stuff yesterday. Fuck, I don't know. I've done a lot of shit and hadn't filmed it. How about that? Took the rest of this tree down, chopped it up, didn't film that. And my son come over and dragged the branches to the burn pile. Okay, well here's the situation. Here's what's going here's on. The situation. Here's what's going on. I've got some corn flakes left over from the grocery shop. Got to put those away. And uh, got the uh, got the transmission fluid for my bike. And uh, I got a little canopy canopy set here to hang that little sunshade. And uh, Got a couple of got a couple of bulbs I do. I got a I got a LED backup battery bulb and a color bulb because my compact fluorescent's going out. And I got some uh, the ladies uh, the old ladies 90 day supply of vitamin coming in. I only got a lawnmower belt because uh, that one broke again the other day. So it's the second belt. Hadn't had a lawnmower for even a few months, right? Second time been replacing the belt. So, uh, but it's way too hot to do any of that shit right now. So. I quit, and that's the update, update. A funny story, or funny recap, I've already told it, I'm not sure I did. So I got a oil filter and oil coming tomorrow, and uh, because the kid tells me about how I'm supposed to check the oil, I'm like, okay, cool, so I go check the oil, and there's no dipstick. I'm like, well, how the fuck do you fucking check the oil? I'm like, there's no oil window. I'm like, well, fuck it. I'll just check what kind of oil it is, and I'll pour it in until I can see it. Well, it takes 1040, I had 1030, I'm like, well, that'll do. So I poured it in, and I poured in a quart, and still didn't take it. I still couldn't see it. I knew it only took two quarts max. I'm like, well, fuck it. I don't want to blow any seals. So, and so, yeah. Anyway, needless to say that that I then discovered that no, no, that's transmission in uh, reservoir, and that, that has transmission, and uh, and so yeah, that's that. And now you just put 1030 in transmission, and so that's why it leaked out onto my stuff because it's too thin, and so, or because I have a gasket leak or something. I don't fucking know. And so anyway, that's the stuff. I'm gonna redo the whole thing. I got a filter and oil coming, so I'm gonna just drain it all and refill it all. And how you doing? And that's that. And uh, also these, I went with the GE bulbs. There is, and also, and also I went with the GE bulbs. Like there's oodles and oodles of choices on it online, but uh, I didn't want to go with a no-name Chinese, you know, brand, right? And so this is just like, just a battery bulb. It's just an LED bulb, big as fuck. But it's got a little battery in it, I guess. It stays charged through a, uh, you using it. So then, I don't know why it's doing that. No, maybe because there was still power. But, uh, yeah, so the power goes out and you can reach in there and flip a switch to back up. Right? So you got a little light in the house when you have no power. But I was in the impression that it just activated itself when I bought it. I mean, whatever, it was only like fucking nine dollars, so I'll keep it. But I was under the impression that it was always just like, but then that, I guess it wouldn't make sense because then you just turn the light off and the, and, the, and the bulb would come on. So I never gave that a lot of critical thought. Um, so still, as long as I remember that I have it and I remember to turn it on, it'll come in useful. We'll see how long it lasts. And then this compact fluorescent that I d bought years ago was just about dead. So I purchased, uh, I purchased this one. And it's a, it's a GE. So it's not great. Oh, turn the fucking, how do I do this? There we go. So, you know, the color variations aren't super great. It's daytime, so you can't even see that well. I mean, there's there's options out there with like a 120 grade color variant. You got 100% or, well, you got your regular light also. And then you got 100% and you got 50%. And you got 15%. And then you got your daylight bulb and then your soft glow. Which is all nice, but uh, the, these LED colors are not as bright as I would have liked. But whatever, it serves a purpose, and uh, and it's probably it's GE, so it's probably safe, as opposed to if it was just freaking you know one of these other ones that I wouldn't have necessarily trust it. All right, that's it. This is how we mask. 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 It's really going to feel for your own breath in the whole uh, mask situation. You're like, I should, you know, think you brush often enough. Maybe, maybe you don't brush often enough. Maybe, 
maybe intake of everything. I don't know, maybe I just drink too much coffee. So that's why I have ass breath. So I guess I gotta brush my teeth just after every cup. <sighs> okay, I digress. So uh, no, I'm not even, it's because, because I'm expecting the mailman any minute. The male woman, I should say. And she's a full on no masker. And uh, <laughs> so she's probably definitely got corona. I'm just, I'm being, I'm being facetious. Oh, am I close enough? I'm probably super freaking close. Anyway, I got a, I got these here, Zabby Dowdle. And I got this here thingamajig in which to utilize for the type of the sunshades of the how you doing um, for right here. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so we'll, I guess we'll do that, but I'm debating now because I'm realizing that, I'm realizing that, I'm realizing all my wood is poking out a bit. I guess I could push it in. Just push it in. Y'all know that one, right? You'll push it in, Tech? Yeah, and that should give me enough room. Just go ahead and put it up and that'll at least when the sun is down over here it'll keep the shade coming that way. It's not gonna help me now. But it's something to do. While I uh, while I don't really have the stuff to, to complete this yet. <coughs> I don't know, I'm debating. I'm debating whether I just use two by sixes. What I'm thinking is uh so I really want to be able to run, I don't know what they're called, faux rafters or whatever. Like yay but longer. Just coming off the ends here, right? So I got uh so I got peaks for my sheet metal to come off so the rain to drip off of. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put a bunch of faux ones up on this outside ledger board and get more wood off that trailer, push everything up, and my high yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, it's your, uh, it's your friendly fat boy Slim coming at you here, and I'm not sure where we lost you, but we're picking you back up uh, where we are now. Okay, so we got our two pieces reinforced. And I got the piece here that I was about to do for the back piece, but uh, I was looking at my rafter tails, and I, was, I don't know really what angle you're supposed to do. I did like 31.5 or something. It's just like it happens to be like a mark setting on my on my saw there. So but that seems like a pretty good angle. I, mean, I could have gone with 32. What the fuck? And this is just a scrap piece of wood. So I just basically I, I just took the corner and squared it off. Well, that yeah, I took not the square end, and I did the closest thing, the angle I could, to 30. Well, you know, whatever. At the point, and so that's the length, which was like 16 or something. You can go up to 36 inches. On, a, on low slope roofs, but this isn't that low of a slope of a roof. I mean, I would like to go 36, but seeing as how I'm doing it, that's kind of a lot of, not a lot of weight. They say if it's no weight, also low slope with no weight, and it's definitely not going to be that much weight, but uh, I don't think I want to go that far. So, let's see here. Ladies and gentlemen, is how you do that. Okay, well, indeed, that is actually not how you do that. Ah, or that. So yeah, so I got to put a little, I got to put a little four-degree slant on the back sides of these so they match that. And so I got to pop this one off. I had one there, which is this one, that I had to pop off, but I got to redo it now because now it's not long enough. So, but now I got the formula worked out. Shouldn't be no issue.
job, but this <laughs> this sunshade I bought is way too big. I don't know how big I think my thing is, but I ordered way the wrong size, so I don't think I can send it back because I already tore up all the packaging and threw it away, and plus, I'm going to use it on something else I build, so I'll just put it away for now. Direct sunshade ordered. The most direct I could find on a quick note is still not perfect. Right, well, howdy, how and how are you? Here we are in the foothills of Western Australia coming at you, and it's about at 120 degrees today, and humidity level is high. So we are melting, and we smell like bacon. Now, <laughs> crikey, we'll get to cracking at it, and we'll see if we can't can get her before she kills us. All right. slope and this is a uh, 31.6 degree slope. Much better. Much better. Oh, y'all are melting, so am I.